I'd like to talk about an idea that is quite simple, but very hard to be done, to be emulated in a computer, and that's a soundscape. I don't know how many of you know about what a soundscape actually is, but it's a landscape of sounds. And in a way, the sound generated by like, uh, the audience here is one example of a soundscape that never repeats itself but has a similarity. So some examples about what a sound cave is. Like for instance, the sound coming from a waterfall. You can record that for years and it will never be acoustically the same, but everybody can really recognize that immediately. Another soundscape, uh, a traffic jam, the sound of a traffic jam, or the sound of birds flying or flock of birds. So what I'm going to present here is um, a way that we developed um, to synthesize that, the, to generate the soundscape. Um, an example is about bird songs. So we cannot use a formula, a deterministic model like this equation here to create a soundscape because we actually don't have anything to be solved. We have a process to be generated. And what we did was to use evolutionary computation in a different way that they used to, to work with evolutionary computation. So in our evolutionary computation environment, you have a population of individuals, and each individual is a possible solution. Uh, you have reproduction that will work on the population, create new solutions out of the solutions that are already there. And then you have a selection to get rid of the solutions that are not too good. Uh, needless to say, this is inspired in the Darwinian theory of evolution. And they've been using that for several years to solve complex problems when you don't know um, the, whole, uh, the whole scenario to solve a problem. It's a problem unbounded. But we didn't use for that. We used to create new solutions, new, like the ones that we're going to hear now. You have bird songs, and each bird song is an individual in this population, and they are reproducing and dying, and the, the, the artificial DNA never repeats itself. So you have this, you can play that for years and you never repeat. So that's just one example that we can use this technology. So to conclude, this, is, this variable similarity is pleasant for us. We love to listen to that, as we love to listen to the sound of a waterfall or bird songs, because they never repeat. And this makes them always, every time, enticing for us. Secondly, here the process is important, not the end result. What is a different way to, to make computation? Actually, it's not computation, it's heuristics. And finally, um, in my opinion, this kind of process will generate sounds worth spreading. Thank you very much.